Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, how much could depending on your location. Please join in the struggle to liberate our people from the contraption. Like and share videos, news updates. Tension in Ebony as the first lady has kept being lynched in a Zanot local government area of the state. Yes, that is what is happening in Ebony State. Precisely, a Zanot local government where the first lady of Ebony State, talking about uh, Modlin Wifuru went to visit the local government, yes, on a walking visit, one day walking visit to the council area. Yes, he has visited, she has visited, she has visited other local government areas in the state to commission projects executed by Ebony State Community and Social Development Agency. Yes, now the turn of the Ezanot local government area came and the first lady decided to attend yes the program at Ezanot talking about the Abiaji yes Abiaji the council headquarters of the Ezanot local government area now they said the mob mob the mob attacked Molin Wefro mob attacked her. Look at what happened from the eyewitness account. Yes, they said the drama started when Mrs. Winfrey arrived at Biaji, the council headquarters. Some miscreants were on notice. Mere procession, advancing the convoy of the first lady, not minding the effort of the security details attached to her. Now they, said, they said the hoodlums or miscreants Revolted when the security personnel attached to the first lady were trying to scare them away from attacking the first lady when the situation became unbearable. The eyewitness said the security operatives were shooting in the air, but the hoodlums were advancing towards Mrs. Winfrey's convoy despite the efforts of the security men. Now, this is what the eyewitness said. They said, the first lady opted for safety as she was visibly seen scampering for security in one of the local governments considered closest to the capital city. Yes, that is what happened. The woman ran away. Yes, all efforts to bring her back to commission the project met brick wall. She didn't return again. That's Mrs. Winfrew. Yes, Mrs. Winfrew was attacked by the people of Ezanot. Yes, she was attacked. That is what happened in Ebony State on Thursday, being May 2nd. She went there to commission projects. The youth said, no, go away. Go away. Don't come and commission the project. Yes, they nearly lynched her, save for the security. Even with the security, they said the youth were advancing, advancing, moving forward to attack her. But she was weeks away by the security man to a close to a local government very close to Abakaliki. Yes, that is what happened. That was what happened in the Bonin State Thursday. So that is it. The youth said, Look, no, do not come to Eza. Go back to wherever, wherever you're coming from. I wish. They would do so to the, the, they would do the same thing to the husband. Yes, they are the people looting the resources made for the, for the masses. Yes, making them hoodlums. Yes, miscreants. Tomorrow, that's what they will say. They will call them miscreants hoodlums. Whereas, these governors deny the youths their rights. Yes. So, the other first ladies in the South East, they have seen this one. Yes, they have seen the way it is going. The youths are taking their destiny into their own hands. That is it. You will loot the resources meant for the development, destroy their destiny, you still go to their villages to mock them. Say, your commission project, which kind of project is that? Which kind of nonsense project? After destroying the destinies of the young people. Okay? So these women, they kept mute, they kept quiet. Their husband will be looting money. They will be supporting them. 
you'll be answering first lady. First lady nonsense. You've seen it. First lady. Your husband will be looting money meant for the masses. You and your children will be enjoying it. Okay? And when we talk about freedom, they will say no, because they are looting money. So, in the southeast, the youths, they are out. So, in Ebony State, they have started there with their, the wife of their governor. Yes, yeah, saying, don't come. You have destroyed their future. You have destroyed their destinies. And you are coming to mock them. Say, do not come. Go away. That is Ebony Youth, in a Zanot, to be precise, making bold statement to secure their future. And it would be better, let all of them join serious, you know, agitation for their freedom. That is the point. So for these Efulefu governors, no, they are betrayers. Okay? Yes. So other governors, the other wives of the governors, that's first ladies, they have been put on notice now, that particularly in the South East. They have been put on notice with this action being taken by a Zanot youth. Yes, this one is serious warning. Yes, after looting money, you are coming to our place. Do not come to mock us. Don't come. Stay in your place. That is it. So, in Enugu, in Imo, Anambra, Abia, yes, we, we have seen that they have received the news. The first ladies have received the news. So, this time around, you said, look, they are not joking. They are not joking. So, the use of other local governments or other states, we have seen what the use in the Zanot have done. Talk about taking their destiny to their own hands. The looters are coming, they said, no, we are not going to welcome you. Before, you see, after looting money, they will go. They will bring out red carpet for them. They will be, you know, enjoying. Okay? So, but this time around, you say, no. You are not welcome. We are not going to welcome those who have destroyed our future and destinies. No. We are not going to be fooled forever. Nowhere. So, that is a wonderful thing they have done. To say, they are going to take their destinies into their own hands. That's what it means. Because these people, they are killers. They are killing destinies. They are killing the futures of innocent youths. Yes. So, and you said, no. 